Hello everybody, Team Bravo 615 here, and today, let's play some more Shadowrun Dragonfall. If I sound a little different, it's because the battery on my other mic decided to take a shit. So I'm now using my backup right now, and uh... I don't remember the settings that were on this initially. It's funny, when I first bought this, I, it's, uh, I'm using the wireless Pulse headsets that are uh, PlayStation licensed. When I first bought these, I know these were billed as incredible, great, sound quality, amazing. And I bought them, you know. Um, chilled out a little bit more than I'm used to for some hardware, but... Um, Still, for the most part, I was fairly happy with my purchase, but then I noticed on a lot of the playback on the videos, I noticed my voice transfer through the mic quality just wasn't really there for one reason or another. So I opted just to go back to my, um, oh, what are these even? These are $20 Thrustmaster headphones, which aren't horrible by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I actually did the majority of my early recordings off of my old uh, Far Cry 5 licensed Thrustmasters, but um, in any event, the battery for the, un the sound unit uh, is near death, so I'm not going to start a re recording with uh, a half-dead battery, so that's currently charging. I'm on the pulse right now. It is what it is. I'm sure the quality will still be shit, but at least I get to spend some time with you guys, so... I've yammered on long enough. Enough of this. Let's go! Okay, so, where we last left off, Paul Amsil is dead. He is dead. He's deader than a doorknob. Um, obviously, forces have broken into the quite Bazaar. We should go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and check on everyone. Oh, the door has been, the door has been boarded shut. We're not getting in the cafe anytime soon. Alice Monger door. Okay, help. Shut by a magical force. We not be able, we might not be able to do anything until we uh, clear all of these forces out of here. I'm just kind of checking on everybody. You know, manner of speaking. The dancer's not here. Oh. Oh, we found more bad guys. Okay, well... Excuse you. Excuse you. Don't you know who I'm is? I'm is... Team Bravo, and I'm gonna kick your ass. So, um... I got you right in front of me, so let's just go ahead and... Get my jazz hands going. And then... I'm going to bust you in your shit for 16 damage. I'm going to do it again. Hopefully 32 would be nice. Ah, 16. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, Iger. Oh, we have the whole team. This is nice. I like this. So who do we have over there? I thought it was three. It was three. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Oh, you're there. Isn't there another one? I thought it initially said three. Somebody hiding. I think somebody's hiding. In any of it. Um, does that cover? That counts as cover. I could conceivably just take the cover. I don't think I need it though. Honestly, with our we're completely um, outnumbering anyone we run into now. So 95. Oh yeah, you're dead. You're very dead. And just because you're here, you too. Um, let me adrenal pump myself. It's not a euphemism. I'm actually activating an adrenal pump for people. There was another person up here. I don't know where they went. 
but we're gonna find them. We go right here for now. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I knew it. Excuse you. Fine. Fine. You need to get jazz games too. Clean your house. So I have a feeling I don't necessarily need to be exploring. And I might I think that's kind of its way of deterring me from exploring. The sewer is the sewer, but we're not going in there just yet. I'm checking up on everybody first. Oh, I really hope that's not the uh Handicap troll. It's gonna hurt my feelings. Door is locked. Okay, so no getting into uh, docking Zinkabels either. Uh, nothing going on over here at all. Okay, I think that was pretty much it. Should I go check on? My base. I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to anyway. Just because I'm kind of kind of want to clear this place out, if at all possible. It's gonna let me in here. It's gonna let me in here. Yeah, it's gonna let me in here. Oh, of course. Paul's lifeless body lies crumpled on the floor. The majority of his head has been splattered across the opposite wall. Uh, we're inspecting. DB player is completely trashed. Left of it. Some kind of automatic lockdown system has engaged. Uh, nothing there yet. Okay. Can't do anything there. Literally just for the sake of exploring. Alright, I was gonna say I hope the music transitions. And it did. Thankfully, normally the music hasn't been my best friend during this playthrough of this game, so. Into the sewers. Yes, let's go fight some turtles. Okay, beneath the Kreutz Bazaar, you and your team descend into the sewers, footsteps echoing off of the damp stone walls. You barely notice the smell. There's no time to waste. Aldrin's team of mercenaries is down here somewhere, racing to plant their explosive charges beneath the Kies. The fate of the Koitz Bazaar is in your hands. And we got a full team, so let's do this. Kill all the mercenaries, deactivate all the bombs. Okay. Okay. Uh, three bombs remaining. What the hell is this such a large area? Okay, that's a bomb? Assuming that's a bomb. I don't know, but I saw someone. A Vanguard mercenary. Okay. Bomb number one. That's bomb number two. I'm wondering if I should split up. I'm assuming that would be the best course of action. Splitting up. Okay. Okay. Because I literally have five on my crew. So, um, there's one right around the corner here. But I can't cross there. I can cross here. Alright, so actually it's kind of the longest pathway. Um, I'm gonna send uh, Glory here with some backup with Iger because that way they can kind of long range it. And then I'll send the rest of the crew up this way. Okay, sounds good. All right, so we move. I see, anyone up here? No, okay. Right around the corner there, yeah. Over here. 
hold off for now. See if I can get my crew up a little bit closer. Get behind that partial cover there. Okay. As explained. Dante coming with me, bring it up side there with me. Okay. Lori going to adrenal pump as she always do. Actually, I might wait till I get a little bit closer. I'll go here just in case. Just in case. And the turn there, that's fine. Ten rounds, that's okay. I got that one right there. Got one mercenary. Got two mercenaries. So, here's what we're gonna do. First and foremost, um, I have my own adrenal pump. Get my extra. That's fine. Um, I'll do that as well. Um, and I won't, I can't run up to anyone yet. Uh, just because he's going to be doing support mostly. I'm going to haste him as well. That should work. Yep. He has an additional now. Um,. A bit closer if I can. Just there. Just there. Okay. Still no. Okay. Well, here. If I see them. Yeah, I had a feeling I was gonna do something. Oh my! And there's ghouls. Well, the ghouls are not. Um. What you call it? non-hostile. So let's just take out the mercenaries. Of course, if I miss them, it doesn't help. Let's go here. See if I can see something. See something. That guy. And there's a guy. Oh, a mage. Okay, yeah, we want you out. We want you out. Bleeding. Okay. Uh, you, Magadosh. Who's got armor? Who's got armor? Let me rip your armor if I can. Nice. Wait, who? Hey, you missed me though, at least. I don't know what you're gonna do. Ha! You healed yourself crappy damage. I'm gonna say this one's gonna help me. Can I defuse that? Alright, one bomb defused. Help you help you? Mm. Why not? Let's work together. 
Come on. One more. That's right, I have four friggin' action points or something. Alright, um... Can I not? That's a high percentage to miss. I'm gonna let Glory take out the mage. Take out this mage. Come on, come on. Okay, dead mage. Can I reach the other two? No, I can't. Right, I got two action points. We'll move a little closer. We might some cover. Right, that dead eye shot. Gotta be him. Nice! 24. Okay, uh. myself on a ley line. Oh, come on. There we go. Go help Dietrich. Come on. There you go. Can I go back? Okay, good. Get closer. I like it. Oh, I didn't realize there was a ghoul there to help me too. That's why you're poisoned. Take out this mercenary. Come on, one more. Oh. Jesus, you are tough, aren't you? Alright. Switch to the... That's the shotgun. Switch to the rifle. There you go, got that one out. Got that one damaged. Let's get you... Bleeding if you can. Actually, well, it's still two points away. I can get another attack in. Yeah, see. Alright. Now I can shut it off. Two down, one to go. Okay. I can take you out. Okay. That one. This will behind that door. Okay, so they're gonna have to start going for it. I'll go with them, just in case. Take him out just so I don't deal with him anymore. Oh, come on. That's annoying. Well, either way, he's. Oh, never mind, he's not stuck. Alright, I might leave. There you go. Yeah, that might leave him to the ghoul, anyways. So that's fine. Oof, I got five action points. Gotta make sure I don't get left behind. Yeah. Alright. So we'll all last to the last bomb. Seven rounds the last bomb goes. But I think we'll be A-OK. -okay.
think it's got to be in there. So don't you attack my dog. Yeah, last one was in there. Right? Yeah, right up in there. Okay. go in and just throw the door open and get everything started. I also don't want to. Get run in position first before I do that. I don't mind the dog ran up the rear. around. <laughs> Dante won't be much good unfortunately, but that's okay. There we go. Anyone else here? I don't think there's anyone else here. There might not be. Oh yeah, there is. Okay, well, too bad. Oh, bomb's defused. We win, you lose. Alright, let me get in here. Uh, I guess... I should be able to get in cover. Oh, light cover at least. Yeah, I can get in there. Alright, now let's see. Let's pick a target. Let's go with Deadshot. I'm gonna say a Conjurer Animate. I want that Conjurer out of business. You don't get the conjure, I conjured first. Oh. Go for... Big wave, what did I do? Oh. Brigades plus two dodge. Kinda like that. So I just live in the middle of everything. Last three rounds. Yeah, I do that. Very, very low. Maybe not. Let's just do near bolt. If I can hit him, great. If not, oh well. And Dante bringing up the rear. That's fine. Ow! Oh, you can conjure too. I gotta kill that conjurer, we're okay. Alright, come on guys. We have three of them? That was one, we're just gonna dance around. And then that one just wants to dance around. We have a third one. Oh, in there, good. Something useful, please. 
Oh, oh. I guess that works. He killed the conjurer. That's probably bad news. Okay, well, um let's just do this again. He's here, that's bad. We gotta get him away. Oof. Oh boy. That's not good. Let's get rid of the mage, he's the next set of bad news. You load, please. And again with the mage. Alright, so the mage is dead at least. Alright. We gotta work on Inferno. Okay. We haven't moved any freaking armor though. If he misses. And that's fine. Well, he's trying. Okay, he missed. I mean, at least he helps us kind of too, but... Unless I have that can do something to you. Try it. Didn't strip any armor. Maybe. Nope. One more. Oh, something. Don't. 
There you go. On fire. Okay, plus two. Um, let's just use some micro daggers. Actually, we could probably dismiss you. Vanish spirit, confirm. Oh, that bitch. I forgot that was a mage. Yeah, that or he used a pack. Well, at least we already disarmed the bomb, so there's that. That's a big plus. Alright, come on, Ghoulie. Oh, Ghoulie's working on it. Take you out. My guard, mercenary, I hope they don't like you. Let's head to the safe house. Take care of Paul. Oh, we turned to Quite's Bazaar. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ghoul, for helping us there. Hello, fellow ghouls. Thanks for helping us there. Contrary to what Dr. Execabel thinks, you guys are not mindless. Right, exit this location and return to the Coit's Bazaar. Continue? Yes. The Coit's Bazaar. You emerge from the foulness of the sewers only to be met with the equally dark stench of cordite and death. Although you've saved the Kies, it is far from unharmed. Residents wander the streets, dazed, holding their wounds, tending to others, observing the damage. The look in their eyes tells the story. Their illusion of safety has been shattered. You enter Paul Amsell's trade emporium, already knowing that you'll find there. The knowledge doesn't make the discovery any easier. Once again, the team gathers around Paul Amsell. But tonight, he has no more missions to offer, no advice to give. His body lies motionless on the hardwood, cooling in the night air. The ruin of his face has been hidden under a burlap tarp. For several minutes, nobody speaks. Finally, Dietrich stepped forward. I think we should say something about Paul. There's another moment of silence. Then Iger speaks up. I'll go. Iger brings herself to attention, stares straight ahead. Paul Amso was an important member of this team, and he supported us well. He said what he was going to do, and he did it. That's rare. That's worthy of respect. She looks down at the body. There's a long pause before she speaks again. Thank you, Paul Amsel, for everything. Another pause. Her voice softens. I was out of position when they came for you. I couldn't save you. I'm sorry. The other shift uncontrollably, not knowing what to say. Glory breaks the awkward moment, her voice a frosty monotone. I appreciate what Amsel did for us. It's another loss, one that this team can't afford. Glory's eyes sweep across the group, then land on Amsel's body. Her expression is impossible to read. After a moment, she turns her head to look at you. Alright, so what do we say? Losing pubs, so losing people is hard, no denying it. Paul was a good one and will be missed. It's part of the job, all knew the risks, probably better than most of us. Nothing we can do but clean up and move on. It's hard, I know, but this is why we need to keep together, support each other. No one's gonna look out for us but us. Yeah, I kinda like that one, because that's kind of always been the almost the mantra of the the Kiev's here, is that they kinda look out for their own, so. I think it's the one I'm gonna go with. It's hard, I know, but this is why we need to help. I mean, this is why we need to keep together, support each other. No one's gonna look out for us but us. <laughs> Dietrich eyes you appreciatively. Yeah, that's right. There is more to this than a mercenary's paycheck. There has to be. Goodbye, Paul. 
got to see Mitt Deer. Gingerly, Glit steps forward. His hair is must, and there's a fresh bullet hole in his jacket. He smells like smoke, and blood, and stale sweat, and his hands tremble as he takes them out of his pockets. Well, uh, I didn't know Paul as well as the rest of you, but he seemed like a good guy. He shovels his feet. I didn't want to see this happen at any rate. You okay, Blitz? Looks like you and Malit saw some action back there. Yeah. Yeah, his eyes remain fixed on Amsel's body. I'll live. As if in turn... Oh. <laughs> As if in turn, Dante lowers his head sadly, lets out a heavy sigh, and closes his eyes. Okay. Huh. Looks like everyone's had their say. We'll miss you, Paul. We need to take care of his body. We can't leave it here. Yeah, I agree. He deserves better. We can't leave it here. I'll take care of it after we've watched the chip. Don't worry. I know what to do. Be respectful. But be quick. After all, it is only a shell. Paul's with Monica now. We're all going to be with Monica soon if we don't do something. The fire wing came after us once. She'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, that dragon, that dragon really wants is dead. Let's see. And she doesn't care if she brings down an entire kid as they get to us. And this is about more than just us. Everyone's in danger. The whole damn F state. It's true, especially if they're willing to take out this entire place just to get to us. So yeah, no. It's more than just us. Everyone's in danger. The whole damn F state. Aren't you being a little dramatic? I don't think he is Iger Love. I really don't. Come on, everyone. Get a look at that optical chip. I want to see what we're dealing with. Read Alice's optical chip. Before we do... Yay! Upgrades! I love it. I think it's going to be one of the few times I have access to everyone on the team. But at least the five or so, two additional ones at least, that I normally wouldn't. Uh, let's see, we have Speed Loader, where Iger gains an ability that reloads all of her weapons for a zero AP. I do love that. Being able to reload that uh, sniper rifle would be amazing. Uh, sniper Rifle Specialist 3. Iger gains the ability to target two enemies in one action. Ooh, I like that too. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, because that tactical reload is... I thought it was constantly on, but it has a seven turn cooldown. That's It only lasts for... I don't even know. It doesn't say how long it lasts for. But I think I'm gonna go with Sniper Specialist 3. Cost 1 AP and I like that. Target two enemies in one action. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Yep, confirm that. Thank you very much. Um Dietrich. We have Dragon Slayer's Wrath, which replaces the Dragon Slayer Idol. Dragon Slayer now harms all foes within three tiles of Dietrich for 16 damage on subsequent rounds. Targets take 5 HP damage and 1 AP damage. 1 AP damage. Cost 1 AP. Duration of 3 rounds. More Dragon Slayer Shield. Uh, augment spell to the Idol. Dietrich's Idol grows more powerful, decreasing incoming damage by one. Not big on the shield. I like Wrath. I never even really used the Dragon Slayer Idol all that much, but I like this one. All foes within three times of Dietrich, so if I can get surrounded, I can do like a bomb. I'll do that. Uh, let's see. For glory, that trauma specialist two gained an upgraded Venoma 
Bomona, sorry, kit. Glory carries a Bomona Platinum Trauma Kit on each mission, which brings back down characters with 100% HP. Replace the gold. Which I don't have anyway. Or, I can gain a revolver. Glory carries a custom Ruger Super Hawk Revolver with hand machined armor piercing ammo. 14 damage. Six capacity, four armor pieces. I did pass up. Oh, that was a hail of bullets. Um, kind of like the Mona kit, but at the same time, if I already have the gold and a bunch of uh, med kits, I'm not too worried about that. I'd like the gear, honestly. I'd like the gear. I mean, I know I kind of stayed on the top half the entire time, but I think we go with the, the new gun. Yeah, let's get it. Um, lastly, Blitz. Let's see. Level 6. Good. Pain suppression in the Matrix. While Blitz is jacked in the Matrix, attacks on his physical body are reduced by 3. Kind of like that. Or a Nova Hot targeting. Ingrediting tactical, tactical computer marks weak points in the opponent's armor. Blitz. Blitz's mark target ability now reduces the target's armor by two. I like that a lot. I don't really worry too much about his body getting hit in mid space while he's on a cyber run because we cover him pretty well. I'll go with that. Nova Hot targeting. Bet your ass. I like that. There's a note atop the box. Team Bravo, the Lodge thanks you for your dutiful service. The box is prototype combat suit, an armored ensemble developed for Black Ops Commandos. Grants plus one to all attributes. Okay. Uh, fetish. Uh, fire fetish. Grenade. Really ah, very nice. We want a platinum kit. Yeah, I'll take that for sure. Blue tones of the workstation's main menu fill the screen. A blinking message in the upper right hand corner notifies you that you have zero unread messages. Oh, before any of that, let me see. Do I have. It says no new messages. Access the channel and BBS. Claim payment for our pay data. Yeah, the donor list. That's 540 something at least. Anything going on in the BBS? Selling used custom win. Westwind 2000. Like it says, good condition, clean, got the turbocharged kit, additional armor plating added to the front and sides. Trunk has a mounted Ares auto cannon, but you'll need a rigger to operate it, no hand access. Looking for 80,000 yen or best offer. Blue beard. Nice car, wouldn't happen to be any corpse looking for it at the moment, eh? For me. Has the PPS been triggered? Any wrecks rebuild? Flying the Tolstoy. Nope, all clear on that front. Nobody drove this baby but me, and I don't wreck cars. The auto cannon dropped. The last sucker tried to do any damage. Blue beard. Interesting. 
just remembering what I remember from remember yeah remembering what I remember from the tabletop game those vehicles were no joke uh, yeah okay let's check out the optical chip you slot the optical chip into the computer's waiting chip jack on the screen Alice's office blossoms onto into view half a second later a real-time simulation of Alice appears seated behind her mahogany desk Something about it reminds you of a figure from the Wax Museum, lifelike, but dead inside. It greets you with a facsimile of Alice's joyless smile. Customer name, Team Bravo. Its voice is hollow, synthetic, an automaton masquerading as a living woman. One who you've never even met in the flesh. Account number 1012579. Greetings, valued customer. I'm an offline simulacrum of the Alice persona. I've been included on this chip to answer any questions you might have about your information purchase. Nifty piece of tech. Not now, Blitz. You are ready to proceed. I will present Alice's findings. You may interrupt this presentation at any point by saying, Alice, I have a question. Is that the only thing you respond to, or can I talk to you like a normal person? Uh, we're ready. Let's get this show on the road. I mean, I'm curious, but... I guess... Well, let's ask. I'm just curious, personally. <laughs> the Samuel Crumb <laughs> hitches slightly. You may interrupt the presentation at any point by asking, by saying, Alice, I have a question. <laughs> that answers that. <laughs> We're ready. Let's get the show on the road. Very well. Commencing presentation. The Samuel Crumb goes rigid for a moment, then seems to relax. When it speaks, it sounds more natural, as though the real Alice is speaking through it. All right, Team Bravo. I've got good news for you, and I've got bad news. Let's start with the good news. I found Beauclair, and he is alive. Thank God. The trail to your missing doctor was a long and slippery one. The fee that you paid me barely covered my cost for the job. I sent the team into the SOX on a fact-finding mission. I bribed government officials. I greased the palms of wage slaves at megacorps all across Europe. Each step I took eliminated the possibilities drew me a little bit closer, and finally, I found the place where Beauclair is being held. The simulacrum makes a sweeping gesture with its right hand, and the image switch blades onto the screen, a grainy overhead photograph, annotated with map coordinates. You recognize it immediately. This is where you'll find him. He's being held captive at a remote estate called the Harfeld Manor. You've gotta be kidding me. He was there the whole time? Glory says nothing. She just studies the photographs and nods. Okay, nobody tell me. I get it. There is something else that I missed. <laughs> this is the good news. I can't wait to hear the bad news. You know, Alice, I have a question. The simulacrum hitches again, and you can feel the life drain out of it. It looks up at you robotically. You have a question. All right, please make your inquiry now. You said that the Volclair is being held at the estate. What evidence did you turn up to support that? Uh, what else did you turn up to the Harfield Manor? Never mind, let's get on to the bad news. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm curious. What evidence did you turn up to support that? One of my assets at Transys Neuronet provided me with video feed dated t uh, October 10th, 2053. The feed was taken by a corporate surveillance drone. Playback commencing. The screen is filled with a grainy black and white video feed. You recognize the Harfeld Manor, photographed from high above. The camera pushes in, and the image sharpens. Through a bar barred, ground-level window, you can see the shape of a stooped, emaciated figure. His body shows clear signs of neglect. The figure is unmistakable. It's Beauclair, 20 years older and worse for wear. His skin hangs loose on his bones, and his cheeks are hollow. There is a distinctly gray pallor to his skin. That's Beauclair, all right. What's left of him, anyway? He doesn't look like they've been feeding him much. He shakes his head. Poor bastard. Another figure steps into frame behind Beauclair. An orc. He turns his head slightly, and his skin grafts catch the light. Beauclair slowly turns to face Aldrin, and the video feed cuts out. The Samuel Crumb stares at you impassively. Do you have another question? What else did you turn up at the Harfield Manor? Seismological data and thermal imaging confirm the existence of a large, hollow chamber under the estate. It is my suspicion that 
Dr. Vauclair is being held somewhere within this substructure. If First Wings kept Vauclair trapped there for almost 20 years, she's got to have a reason for it. It takes effort and resources to lock a man away for that amount of time. So what's her endgame in all of this? Why not just kill him and be done with it? Malice? Revenge? Who knows? Remember, this was the man who shot her down. He sent her crashing into a radioactive wasteland. If somebody did that to me, I'd want to hurt him too. And I'd make it last. I think it goes deeper than that. According to Winter's DVD, Volclair designed the experimental weapon that shot her down. And that weapon split her body from her essence. Glory glances down at her own steel and chrome arms and suppresses a shudder. If I had to guess, I'd say that she's trying to make him fix whatever he did to her. That's what makes sense to me. There is a moment of silence as the group processes Glory's suggestion. Before anyone can speak, the Samuel Crumb cuts back in. Do you have another question? No more questions. Let's get on to the bad news. Very well. Feel free to interrupt again with any future inquiries. The Simicrum pauses, and a brief tremor washes over its body. Its eyes flutter, and you can hear the sound of your computer working to process more of the chip's data. Iger turns to address the team. If Volclair is at Harfeld, we've got problems. The last time we broke into that place, they took Monica out. It was a miracle that any of you got out alive. Yeah, but now we know what's down there. This time, we'll be prepared for it. We can handle this. Iger shakes her head. No, it'll be even worse this time. The first time we went in, we had the element of surprise on our side. But now, they'll be expecting us. They're hunting us, remember? Their security team is going to be waiting for us, Dietrich. The Audrin bastard is going to be waiting for us. And even if we make it past them, we're going to have to deal with the dragon in the basement. Well, what else can we do? Cut and run? Last time I checked, that wasn't an option either. Even if it were, I wouldn't take it. I'm not running from this. Not after what they did here tonight. None of us are, Glory, but Iger's right. We can't just go charging in there again. Not without some kind of eat edge. I'm with Dietrich, no guts, no glory. I still haven't completely ruled out the cut and run plan. No, I'm with Iger. She kind of knows that they're going to be expecting us. We need something to get in there. Yeah, I'm... Iger's right. We can't just go charging in there again. Not without some kind of edge. The Samuel Crumb jerps back to life and resumes speaking, blissfully unaware of the conversation that's cutting off. And now, Team Bravo, on to the bad news. You now know where Beauclair is, but rescuing him will not be possible. Alice, I have a question. He continues without waiting for a response. Why the hell not? <laughs> in the course of my investigation, I encountered something terrifying in the Matrix. It was fast, cunning, and very definitely intelligent. I am convinced that I only escaped because it let me go. It could have killed me in a heartbeat if it wanted to. This thing that I met is protecting the Harp of Manor, and it's going after anyone who gets too close to what's happening there. Alice, what did you see in there? What is going after these people? By way of explanation, I would like you to read the following document. Samuel Crumb makes another sweeping gesture, and the menu slides back onto the screen. This time, it's filled with text. What you're looking at is an archived forum discussion from the early days of the Shadowland BBS. Blitz stares at the text on the screen. She, uh, it. <laughs> He's a kidding, Chief. This discussion dated back to 2036. That's ancient history in the Deccan community. It probably has, isn't even correct to call these guys Deckers. Hackers would be the more appropriate term. When you finish reading it over, say Alice, I'm done, and we can continue. Uh, let's see. <laughs> read the discu archive discussion. Let's read it. I don't want a summary. I'll read it. As you lean in to read the text, as you read into uh, as you lean in to read, the text slowly begins to scroll up from the bottom of the screen. You all hear about the SK team that got crisped a few hours ago? Whole labs worth of researchers, all burned and broken beyond recognition. Ugly stuff. Clockwork. At this point, who has it? Big Pharma. Power spike. Got them right through their data jacks, like a bolt of lightning to the brain. A one in a million accident is what they're saying. Mr. Mayhem. I don't remember hearing that one before. Clockwork, I've heard of. And you believe that? Yeah. Got a more plausible explanation? Mr. Mayhem. Yes, actually. It was a cleanup operation. Clockwork. 
Color me intrigued. What were they cleaning up? Big Pharma says. A secret project that Lao Free that Lao Fuir didn't want anything to do with. You might have heard rumors about it. The project was named Apex. Clockwork. And you lost me, Mr. Mayhem. Apex Clockwork? Seriously? That old line of Drek? I'm telling you, Jokers, Apex is real. Or at least it was, until the Whizworm pulled the plug. Uh, come on, Clockwork. We're still decades away from seeing a fully functional AI. You know that. Those Apex stories that have been floating around, you're just some conspiracy nuts wet dream. Fine, keep your heads in the sand. You almost know the truth when we read it. Okay, Clock, I'll hear you. But riddle me this. If Laufweer had an armed and operational AI in his claws, why kill it? You remember what happened to most of Echo Mirage? His, his names are losing me. The crash virus killed them, fried their brains, but I don't see what it has to do with anything. With the commercial release of the CDT-1000, some security film firms are working on counter-intrusion software that could do the same thing. Black Ice. You look it up if you don't believe me. So, is this the introduction of Black Ice into this universe? I don't think so. Anyway. Whoa, scary stuff, man. Well, the goal of the Apex Project was, to, was even scarier. Ice waits for you to come to it. Apex wouldn't be bound by those restrictions. He could go hunting. Hits its targets when they least expected it. That's why they called it Apex. He was designed to be the Apex Predator of the digital world. And so rather than using it to his advantage, Laufer decided to kill it in the cradle. The Whizworm's no fool. Some things are too dangerous to play around with. How would you put that genie back in the bottle if it ever slipped out of your control? Answer? You could and then it would take over the world. Okay, this thread has officially gone off the rails. I'm closing it down for the good of mankind, Captain Chaos. All right, Alice, I'm done. The simulacrum drifts back to life and settles into a neutral pose. There is no official records in the Savior Krupp database to support the existence of the Apex project, but the thing that I encountered was Apex. Of that, I am certain. Just as I am certain that Apex was responsible for the deaths of Monica Schaefer, Green Winters, Clockwork, Paragane, and a score of other Deckers over the last 16 years. <laughs> Blitz raises his hand. Hold up. Uh, Alice, I have a question. I thought they said that Laufer killed Apex. They speculate as much. Yes, they were wrong on that count. I do believe that Sadir Krupp was developing Apex as a tool for Matrix Warfare. I am also convinced that the, a the IT personnel who were killed were the Apex development team, but I don't think that Laufey was responsible for their deaths. Apex killed them. That'd be my guess, yes. In the turmoil surrounding Laufey's buyout of Seder Krupp, a number of projects went missing. I believe that Apex was appropriated by a member of Freshwing's organization at this point. It was then unleashed on its own development team to silence them. Since then, it has provided information control for the Firewing. Pet AI, it would explain how Fershwing has managed to maintain her conspiracy and avoid detection for the past two decades. Anytime anyone gets close, the AI takes them out and scrubs the record clean. So this is trippy. So we have ventured off the deep end from Black Ice, which is nasty in its own right, and now getting into homicidal AI. And that is what's basically frying everyone that gets too close to this. So this has officially gotten deep and we're running out of time. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this one from here, hopefully with a new headset. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm Team Bravo 615. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.